Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Biodon Dutola, uh, GTM, your uncle, Calvary Solution Place and Academy. Uh, you are all welcome back to my YouTube channel where we give you uh, in depth of information about catfish farming and related to how you can make money on catfish and other sorts of businesses. So, once again, you March are welcome 11, to this page. Uh, and make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you click on the like button and you click on the notification button. This will tell you when I will release new video so that you can be the first uh, to, to get a glimpse of what I'm releasing on this video. So, make sure that you do that now. Uh, today is the 3rd of uh, November 2021 and today as you are watching we are making some supplies to Mama T at uh, Alagbole. We have been making supplies uh, to our great uh, mommy and uh, uh, we are making sure that in every of our customers that we meet on catfish farming, relatively any business, we make sure that we impacted their life and uh, we make sure that they are successful on their business. When they are successful is when they will come back to us and we make a good deal again and again and again. So we are making sure that we make our constant uh, supplies and constant success, impacting success to our customers so what you are watching once again is that we are supplying uh, mama t with our fast growing uh, pure clara's uh, juvenile seeds which are performing very very good uh, if you are getting this kind of a seeds uh, you are rest assured that you'll be eating 700 800 grams in three months uh, if you are not careful, you are some will be eating one kilo in, the, in that uh, particular month. So, making sure that you get a very good seed is what I will be, uh, I will really be talking about on this topic for today, uh, for which I titled uh, "Why You Should Do It Right in Catfish Farming." Why you should do it right in catfish farming, like any other businesses. Uh, still remain the same. Uh, what I really mean by this is that in any business that you want to venture or want to go into, uh, specifically we are talking about cartridge farming, you need to take some steps in order for you to know that you are getting it right from the base. So it is important for every investors in cartridge farming to make sure that they get things right from the start. Getting it right from the start, you yourself, you know that you are getting things right from the start so this it doesn't really matter people you don't need anybody to tell you the way of getting it right from the start and if you think you are afraid and or you don't know how to get it right from the start i said it in most of my videos that it's very good that you hold the hand of a mentor so that he or she will guide you through on how to make it start from the from the right from the start right from the start so what are the principles of you getting it right from the start one of the major principles from you getting it right from the start is one your preparation how do you prepare what are you preparing for what shape do you put your preparations to so your preparation started from one from your pond your preparation started from a very good seed, which is very, very important because there is no amount of feed you are going to give an unhealthy seeds. They will never perform great or perform better. So it is very, very important for you to really understand how those fundamentals are running. It's like you wanted to build a house and by the end of the day you are not solidifying the foundation for all of us 
uh, on social media, on the news generally, we are conversant to news generally, we really understand what really happened at Ikoyi, at Gerada State, at Ikoyi presently, about the 21 story building that fell. So, why is the failure? The failure simply means that the foundation is not really strong enough. The infrastructure, the facilities they are using for the building is not really solidified. So, and uh, going through the news again, I understand some of the contractors even penned or uh, assumes their jobs, leaving it because of unqualified materials that is being used. That means you yourself really know that I might really preparing for this business or not. There's no way you won't know because there are some certain things that you need to put in place. Maybe because you are thinking of greed because I normally I uh, said it all that what really makes many people many people to fail is greed. It's greed. There's no how you you can't quantify that. It's greed. Because uh, or another thing that makes people to fail, some of us are we are ready to spend, Zero, but we eight, zero, three, three, enter into a wrong guns that six. did not guide us right. So that to, that other thing so can make an effect for people to fail in business. Um, but most people that fails in business, almost about 90 people that fails in business are, is greed. What I mean by greed is that you will tell some people, by the time you tell some people, I want to make a concrete pond, uh, and I tell them there's a three categories of concrete ponds that you needed. Some of them will tell me, no, 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 no. The concrete pond I prized from a guy, he said it's 30,000 naira. I can't do yours for 45,000 naira. Knowing fully where that, there's a there's one I can do for 20,000 naira for them, and there's the one that can do for 35, 30,000 naira for them, and there's the one that can do for 50,000 naira from them. So this choice you need to pick from the choice to really know, to solidify even in yourself, to be clear conscience in yourself about what you are really doing yourself. It's very, very important because you are the one doing the business. Mine is just to sell the pond for you. You are the one carrying on with the business. For the years you want to carry on the business, for how you want to manage your business, it depends on you. So it's particularly on you to make sure that you contact somebody like us as a, a mentor so that we can tell you the categories of things that is viable, available, and which one of it do you really want to take it is very very important so ours is to tell you uh, the quality not everybody will tell you that because most people want to make their money by the time you even give them the thirty thousand error they will go ahead and do the one for the fifteen thousand error for you so you can uh, imagine that but for you to give a person that can give you can can tell you the truth about those qualities that are available relatively available to me, I think by the time you think twice and look about that, or maybe by the time you fail, there's no how you won't want to come back to that person that at least tell you the truth to make sure that you solidify your business. So, which um, which are one of the things I'm preaching on this uh, uh, video today. So, what I'm really saying uh, uh, again is that make sure that you have a very good quality seeds. Get the quality seed from the breeder. There's no how you are feeding a very quality seed. They will definitely respond to feed. Especially if you are giving them a high and balanced nutritional feed, which is important and normally encourage all farmers to make sure that they give their fishes a high nutritional balanced feed. This, if you don't know about uh, how to compose your food, or how to balance your food or the required percentage of nutritional balance that each fish needed at a particular period you can as well get my ebook which i titled uh, the secret of a successful cartridge business or you can couple it with the one i tagged cartridge feeding chart that one is just really really shiva it's cheaper a little bit so you can get that in that you will have those stages of feed and the percentage of feed, which, are, which is very, very important. Most farmers don't really know even the percentage of feed that a fish, a fish should be feeding at a particular period. For example, uh, maybe you have a juvenile. Your fish is, is in juvenile stages. And uh, maybe from post fingerlings, there, are, there should be two weeks to juvenile. And uh, some of them are jumbo size. You can see that these ones can pick 3 mm conveniently. 
So you skip from 1.8 and you started giving them 3 mm. So that means you skipped the uh, protein uh, level that they should be taking for the 2 mm, which is an average of 42%. Uh, uh, and you skip that to jump into like 40% or 39 percent so this skipped that little skip you skip may have effect in some of the fishes it may not be all the fishes those ones that are growing bigger may not really have that effect on them it will have a, an effect but the effect will not be too much for you to notice but there are some of them that are that still needed that kind of proteinous food to do better to add more to their body tissues to build up their body tissues to grow well by the end of the day those ones will be affected so it is very, very important for every farmer to really know this. Not everybody knows this. And you don't have to be a nutritionalist before you know this. It is key and very, very important. Please, all these you need to check and balance. All these you need to know. You don't need to be told to. You need to, psychologically, you need to know that you are doing something wrong. Your foundation is really not very, very strong. Most especially, again, uh, I will be talking about feed maybe a video after this if you really want to know about feed formulation and concentration so i'll be talking i'll be going more deeper into it it's voluminous and uh, it's huge it's broad in talking about but i will make sure that i take it topic by topic so that you guys too can really enjoy one or two things about it but if you really want to know more on this my lecture i have a free class for to encourage farmers to encourage prospective farmer, upcoming farmers, there's a free class I have on WhatsApp, which I attack Catfish Solution Academy, and I have one Catfish Academy, it's still the same. So on WhatsApp, we have close about uh, 15 uh, uh, groups on WhatsApp, and we have on Instagram, which I do free trainings virtually every day if I'm not busy. So uh, make sure that you join the WhatsApp group, it's free of charge, you don't need to pay anything. So this is just a, a way of giving back to people to really understand or those who really want to go into catfish business this is the way of giving back to us so make sure that you ask me from the uh, from the comment section so i can give you i can add you to the link so that you can join and uh, at least have some one or two free lectures on the uh, catfish farm maybe, maybe that may be useful uh, to you it may be useful to you you can add up your farm workers or farm managers so that they can ask questions so and we can give them a free answer we are not charging on this but if you are coming to on our mentorship program you need to pay for that that means our uh, online mentorship program you have to pay for that so another thing i want to talk about is that is an example that maybe your water needed changes for a day and you have to leave the water for like three days that is one is negligence two it may be greed because some people may say they don't want to use their money to pump uh, their generator to pump water to, to spend money on pumping water if you are having a fish farming business why are you not using a generator so it's better for you not to have a fish farm at all if you know you want to you don't want to use a generator so if you want to do a fish farm in nigeria you need a generator you may have a light but you need a generator so that by the time your ponds your work pond water gets dirty you need to change it automatically so it's very very important and key all this you need to know and really need to understand from my next video i will take you through most of other things you need to know that may helping your business to grow so make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel now and press on the notification button and the like button so that you can be forced to get my next video.